Hi, it's Jackie Uthen here with Real Estate Real Talk. Today's topic is status certificates. We're gonna talk about four cool things from what is it, where do I get it, why do I need it, and why do we at the Uthen Group order them preemptively when we're helping sell your condo. So let's start at it. What is it? What is a status certificate? A status certificate in a condo corporation is Typically, the condo corporation legal documents that run with the property. So, from describing your locker legal description and your parking legal description and all sorts of rules that run with the property having to do with common spaces, common elements, or any other information that's pertinent and really useful to your buying decision and would impact your decision making is there. Any litigation that's outstanding, any financial errors or omissions, anything that has to do with the health of the condo corporation from the financial angle is there. If there are structural issues or law lawsuits that are active, they're going to be named in that condo document. Where do I get it? Where do you get the document? Super easy. If you're buying, you're going to make an offer and it's going to have typically a condition to review the status certificate. You're going to ask the seller to provide one to you within a specific period of time after you've come to an accepted agreement. Normally, I like to ask for anywhere from two to five days to review the document. And by review it, I don't mean you, me and a buyer or you and me. I mean specifically a lawyer who's trained, who's knowledgeable, who's experienced in condos. And particularly that condo would be really helpful who knows the ins and outs of that building or has clients there already would be great because he knows exactly or she knows what to look for in those condo documents. Why do we need a status certificate? Why do we want to actually review one? Super important. When you're buying, let's say I'm a dog owner, I love dogs, I want to make sure that my dog is not a banned breed in that particular building. Now that's just one little thing to watch for when you're doing a offer or when you're reviewing a status certificate. Why wouldn't I also want to know if there's any ongoing litigation or multiple lawsuits against the condo corporation where I plan to live? Why would that be important to me? Because it could be an indicator of where maintenance fees are going in the future. So you want to do your due diligence and you want to make sure that you are allowed to have three cats there if you're a three cat owner or you're allowed to have two dogs. So there's lots of really nitty gritty in these documents that you must review before making a decision. You don't want to go into a condo and move in and move out because you couldn't live there with the amount of pets that you wanted as just one little example. What's the benefit and why do we order them early? A really smart realtor, a really good realtor who's working for you to ensure that you sell quickly within a specific timeline would order one as soon as they know you're going to market. And I would say rewind that by 10 business days because that's about how long it takes to get one from a condo corporation. Why do we want to order them in advance? We want to make sure that when you hit the market, you're positioned in a way to sell quickly and for the least amount of stress and pain as possible. Having the status certificate in hand reduces the days to go and collect it later. By law, the condo corp's got 10 business days to furnish that to you once you pay for it and order it. We want to make sure that you've got it in hand in advance so that the buyer can reduce the amount of times they're wrapping you up or tying your property up conditionally. So order it early. That's what we do at the Othen Group. Hopefully this has been really helpful. One last tip is where do I get the status certificate? Really good question. Property management that runs with every condo corporation, every property that has a condo fee, has either a board of directors that are responsible for it or a property management company looking after it. There are ways to get some online through conduit.ca, which we know in this industry as being a really cool portal where we go and it makes it really easy. Other older buildings, you have to actually physically walk into the property management's office and pay for it and order it. So the where depends on where you're situated and who you're dealing with. So that's a wrap, guys. Remember, always review the status certificate, whether it's preemptively before the offer night or after you've tied up a property. That is one step we do not skip when buying condos or properties with maintenance fees in the city of Toronto. Good luck with your buying hunt. Status certificate, there's your education. Thanks for watching.